From the first moment she could walk, she led. Even as a little girl, everyone knew she was destined for greatness, but no one could have predicted the legend that she would become. This entire video was made with one completely free AI tool, no watermark, voiceover and music included, a full 10 minutes long, and best of all, no editing required. So today I'm showing you exactly how I created a long 3D story video using nothing but this one tool. It writes the script, picks your voice, generates the visuals, and keeps your character consistent from beginning to end. All in minutes. And yeah, still free. Let's break down what this tool actually offers, because I want full transparency here. I've tested dozens of free AI tools, and I break them down in this video up here if you're curious. And yeah, this one. It made the list. But I almost skipped over it, because I didn't expect much. Then I actually tried it. If you're building a faceless channel, you already know the pain points. So let's walk through them, and I'll show you how this tool stacks up. First, the paywall trap. Most tools are paywalled, buggy, or worse, labeled free. But everything worth using is locked behind a premium wall. This one, you get full video output, no watermark, no surprise upgrade screens halfway through. Second, short form limits. Even the decent free tools usually max out at 5 or 10 seconds. Not great for full-length content, but this one lets you go up to 10 minutes. That's real runtime. Perfect for monetizable videos. Third, the editing black hole. This is where creators bleed time. 3 to 5 days. Easy. Just editing, captioning, syncing, re-exporting when something crashes. With this tool, I didn't touch a timeline. Not once. Fourth, Character inconsistency. This one's huge. Most AI tools can't keep the same character from one scene to the next, but here, it actually does. It generates 3D still visuals and the character design sticks. Same face, same look, all the way through. So, yeah, it's not magic. But it does something most tools don't. It actually removes friction and gets you results that don't look like AI leftovers. That's the tool I nearly overlooked. It's called CapCut AI Video Maker. And what it pulled off? Honestly, I didn't think was possible. Let me show you. First open CapCut AI Video Maker. You'll need a desktop app. It's free. You can use the link in the description to follow along. Open it, click AI Video Maker, and it will get you inside the workspace. There are different options that can help you get started, depending on the type of videos or prepared assets you have. So, for example, if you have images or videos already made, select Match Media to Script in one click. If you want to create an avatar video that's easily accessible through the Avatar Video option. Before we jump into the step-by-step -step process, the easiest option is to select Instant Video. When you click it, a side window opens. Here, you just select your style, aspect ratio, and either give it a topic to generate a script or paste in your existing script. Next, you select a voiceover and video duration, then click Create. It will generate a complete video you can post right away. You can decide on the voiceover and aspect ratio here, but you can change anything later if you're not happy with the result. CapCut's AI wrote the whole story arc in minutes. Intro, conflict, resolution. It was shockingly usable out of the box, but let's go more in depth if you need more control. Okay, select new project here. It will take you to a guided, very simple process. First step is script, where you can add your own or don't. If you already have a story, paste it in. If not, click on create one with AI. On the left, you just type a topic and some bullet points. I wrote a cinematic story of a legendary woman warrior who rises from humble beginnings to become a fearless leader, defending her people and inspiring generations. I added 3D Pixar style animation, medieval period. Select the video duration you prefer, then you can add a mimic writing style, maybe from one of your previous videos or a YouTube channel you want to match. In More Requirements, you can specify the type of video, educational, entertainment, and the platform you'll post on. Once you get your script, read it and edit if needed. If you're not happy, you can regenerate it. Or if it works, just accept it here. Second step is defining the scenes. Here, you have to pick a voice. You get a bunch of AI voices. Some are stiff, yeah. But there are some good options. For my story, I selected one called Nightly that hit the perfect mix of calm and cinematic. It actually sounded human. If you want to get fancy, you can upload a sample and match your own style. 
that's currently free and an amazing feature, but if that's not what you're looking for, the defaults are more than solid. Here you can also add an avatar. There are predefined ones, they look pretty nice, and there are different options to choose from. Just like the script, you can also create your own avatar just by uploading a video. For a free tool, this is a seriously valuable feature. Step 3. Add visuals. This part blew me away. Let me first explain what options you have. You can generate AI media, that's what we'll use in a bit. Next, if you've already generated images or videos with another tool, you can upload them here. Final option is Match Stock Media. CapCut will browse and select clips and images from its stock library and create a video for you. Kind of like in video, but totally free. Insane, right? Okay, back to the AI option. When you click Generate AI Media, you'll first select the aspect ratio. We'll go with 16 by 9 and then choose a style. I'm selecting Cartoon 3D, then click Apply Visuals to all scenes. Wait around 10 minutes. What you get are illustrated frames, stylized, dynamic, and here's the magic. The characters stay consistent. Not just clothes. Same face, same outfit, same vibe from scene 1 to scene 10. That never happens in free tools. Step 4. Let CapCut do the rest. It auto-generates captions. You can choose from caption templates. The ones without the dimmed icons are free, and there are some great ones. Best part? You can automatically highlight keywords, sound effects, stickers, and effects. Click on the left panel and select the elements you want. Then choose Intensity. I'll go with All and Medium, and hit Apply. Step 5 is Music. Click Music in the left menu, you'll get different categories to choose from. Make sure you filter for ones with a commercial use license. I'll search for some epic background music. Once you find the one you like, click the green plus button to add it. Then, down at the bottom, adjust the volume. You don't want it overpowering the voiceover. Step 6 is to check everything. Review the text, you can edit it directly in the text box. Once you're happy, click the three dots and hit the reload button to update the voiceover and captions. You can do the same for images. Click the replace icon to open a new window. You can add your own media or swap it with a stock image. Change the style or aspect ratio. Update the prompt, regenerate, and you'll get four new image options. Click on each to preview and hit add to scene to replace. You can trim the duration of the scene or delete the image. You can rearrange scenes too. Just click on the dots, drag and drop. Or delete the whole scene or duplicate it from the same menu. You do all of this here. And you never touch a timeline unless you want to. So here's the wildest part. Once everything looked good, I clicked export, chose 4K, hit download, and that was it. You do have the option to add some edits like transitions or sound effects. Just click on Edit More. This opens the CapCut Video Editing app. This takes us to the Advanced Editing step, and here's where you can add some animation too. To add transitions, go to the top menu and click Transitions. Choose one you like, drag and drop it between two images. Click the transition and on the right, choose Apply to All to unify your video. To add sound effects, click Audio and search for one that fits a scene. Then drag and drop it below your music track. Just make sure it's not too loud. Next step is optional and for pro users only. It's a paid feature. You can animate your images directly inside CapCut, which is amazing. Click Media from the top menu, then AI Media. You get 1200 credits monthly on the paid tier or you can buy credits separately. Options include generate AI image using Seedream or Flux models or generate AI video with VO3, Seedance or Runway. There's even an AI dialogue scene option with talk, sing or react. And yes, AI avatar is here too. Back to our video. I generated a few clips for my story. Select your image from your screen. It's saved in your CapCut project folder. Add your prompt, choose model and duration, then hit generate. The result? It fit my story perfectly. Once everything's good, just export the final video. Click File, Export, select your settings and download. And there you have it, your 3D animated video in just a few clicks. No 5-day edit, no team, just you and, and a tool that actually works. No watermarks, no crashes, no mystery upgrade button halfway through. 
Just a full monetizable 10 minute video, done. Is it perfect? Almost. But if you're a solo creator trying to make real storytelling content without outsourcing, spending days editing, or learning 10 different AI tools, this is stupidly powerful. And hey, if this saved you hours of research or $300 in software, consider liking the video or subscribing. I try every weird AI tool I could find, so you don't have to. If you're looking for more all-in-one AI tools, check this video next. See you in the next one. From the first moment she could walk, she led. Even as a little girl, everyone knew she was destined for greatness. But no one could have predicted the legend that she would become. She grew up hearing stories of the great warrior queen, her mother, who had fought and died defending her people. And so when the neighboring kingdom threatened war, this young girl, barely a teenager, took it upon herself to train to become a warrior like her mother. She learned to ride a horse, to wield a sword, and to lead her people with a fierceness that had everyone, including her father, the king, astonished. When the neighboring kingdom declared war, they thought they'd easily defeat the small, weak kingdom to the north, but they soon realized that they had made a terrible mistake. For when the young woman warrior, now a young adult, led her people into battle, she fought with the strength of ten men and the heart of a lioness protecting her pride. She was a force to be reckoned with. Her bravery and skill in battle was matched only by her compassion for her people. When she wasn't fighting, she was healing, tending to the sick and comforting the dying. She was a true leader, someone to look up to, someone to emulate. As the years passed, her legend grew. She became known throughout the land as the most fearless warrior, the most compassionate leader. People from all over came to her kingdom to learn from her, to train under her, to become better warriors themselves. She inspired an entire generation of warriors, each one striving to be just like her, but her greatest victory was yet to come. When a powerful sorcerer threatened to destroy her kingdom, she rallied her people and the neighboring kingdoms that she had once fought against. They all came together to face this common enemy. And when the sorcerer's army was defeated, she was hailed as a hero, not just of her people, but of all the people. She had done what no one thought possible. She had united the kingdoms, brought peace to the land and proven that even the smallest kingdom could defeat the greatest evil. As she looked out over her kingdom, knowing that she had made it a better place than she had found it, she felt a sense of pride and accomplishment that was greater than any battle. For in the end, it wasn't just about being the most fearless warrior or the most compassionate leader. It was about making a difference, about leaving the world a better place than you found it. And in that she had succeeded.